Hello and welcome to Our Devotions, where together we're developing lives with God at the center. I'm Daniel and this is my amazing wife, Amanda. Hello, today we're going to be talking about rewards, starting off in 1 Corinthians chapter 3. So grab your Bible and get ready to jump right in. We're having fun and we have made it like 10 verses down from yesterday, but... This is, this is important. It really is. Uh, it's really easy <clears throat> in, in our circles, in the Western church, we've gotten a, a bit away from being saved by works. And we go through and go, hey, you know, there was the Reformation and it became so clear. And the Bible is really clear and has these verses that say that we are saved by grace. Yeah. And so we're like, all right, sweet, I'm saved by grace. Um, but... Reward. The Bible talks a whole bunch about rewards. Yeah. And how does that fall in? And it's it goes over it well here in in First Corinthians chapter three. It begins to go in and going, We are saved by grace, but we are rewarded based on what we do. Yeah. And this topic comes over quite a bit. And I just kind of wanted to look at a couple of these things. Here in, <clears throat> in three, it goes through and says that hey, you're gonna build on whatever foundation, you got to build on the foundation of Jesus Christ. No one can lay a different foundation. But <clears throat> whether you build with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, or straw, each one's work will become manifest, um, for the day will disclose it. It will be revealed by fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each one has done. Yeah. And he goes through and he goes, your works are going to be tested. Your motives are going to be tested. Yeah. And... <clears throat> but this idea, I, I looked, I'm like, is this the only spot that talks about me being rewarded or my deeds being checked or, or them mattering? Because I, I saw in Ephesians, it says that I'm saved by, um, by grace through faith. And I started looking yeah. in Matthew 6. It goes, you know, hey, don't store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy, but store up treasures in heaven. Yep. So I am given the command by God to store up treasures. Like this is not just a... A bonus. Yeah. This isn't just like a, oh, hey, he goes, no, this should be your aim. You should be looking and going, hey, what is this going to look like in eternity? And if I am looking at eternity, it should change how I'm living today. Yeah. When, you, when, I, when you're training and you have the finish line in mind, when you have a place that you're trying to achieve, when you have a time that you're going for, it changes how you ride, it changes yeah. how you run, changes how you train. And that should be part of our life. I mean, as you look through, it talks about it in Matthew 6. It talks about it here in Revelation twenty two twelve. 12. It says that he's coming and his reward is with him. And if we go Revelation chapter 20, hold on, you can talk while I find things. <laughs> yeah, I love how it talks about work, but <clears throat> the importance of, I have the amplified version. And again, it says, test the quality and character and worth of each person's work. How there is times where we can do work that is worthless. Like as bad as that sounds, yeah. you're like, oh God, if there is a point <clears throat> where work can become worthless, help me to keep my heart in the right place. And that is one of those things that's put there, not to scare you or to make you feel bad, but to help you to check yourself, to help you to remember that, wow, if God put that there, then that means it must be pretty easy to have quality or not to have not quality work. <laughs> You know, the fire is going to test that. So if I know I'm going to be tested by fire, that makes me be more introspective and think, okay, God, am I doing this with the right heart? Lord, how, how do you want me to give? How do you want me to bless others? How do you want this, these good works to be shown? Because the Bible talks about how our good works are supposed to give glory to God. Yeah. So if we're finding ourselves doing good deeds, but they're not glorifying God, but they're glorifying us or they're glorifying even the other person. Like one of the popular things I've seen recently is people are like, you are worth it. You can do this, mama. You've got this. And I'm like, no, no, I don't. God does. I am who I am because God is there with yeah. me. That doesn't point me to the Lord. That points me to my own self-worth. That points me to I can do things. And that's not what we want either. So when we are aware of all of these things that are testing that helps us to see, did what I just do bring glory to God? And if not, next time, how can I change that to make sure that all of that glory and honor goes to him? 
Yeah, both the glory and the honor and the, the love. When the love is for him that overflows with helping people, yeah. when, it's, <clears throat> when it's about him, it changes things. And it, <clears throat> it goes through in Revelation 20, and it talks about these different books and that <clears throat> there's books of everything that we've done yeah. that are going to be gone over. And we have this... That effort. right there also puts some holy fear in you. Like, yeah. Ooh, what are I <clears throat> written in that? <laughs> and that can be scary, but that can be so awesome because you're still breathing. So we have the ability to choose what's written. Yeah. And go, hey, what do I want written? In Matthew 25, Jesus talks about what it's going to be like when he comes back and he's going to divide people. And he goes through and says, hey, what you did to the least of these, you did to me. Yeah. And I just want to invite you to live a life that's prepped for the future. Yeah. To live a life that goes, hey, I'm going to store up today for eternity. Yeah. I have the opportunity to live a life that's worth rewarding. And you go, hey, but I've made so many mistakes. That's um, That stinks, but that's what God's amazing grace is for. Yeah. That's when you get to be a new creation. Yep. You get to step up and go, today, I'm going to let God shine through me. I'm going to let God's love um, come out of my mouth, out of my words, out of my tip, out of my uh, my actions towards my family. I'm going to let everything that I do reflect him and be done to honor him. And it goes, when we do, then our works are rewarded. You know, back to our, our starting point that I lost. But in 1 Corinthians 3 there, where he goes through and says, hey, it's going to be tested and these will be rewarded. And it's such a powerful thing. It should be a focal point for us. Yeah, and I mentioned you mentioned that, oh, that can be scary. But one of the things is we don't want to live in fear, but we should have a healthy fear of the Lord because that helps drive our actions and can motivate us to do things the right way. Absolutely. Well, let's get into our confessions. I repeat these after me. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am the righteousness of God. I am the righteousness of God. In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. I resist the devil. I resist the devil. And he flees from me. And he flees from me. My prayers are powerful. My prayers are powerful. And effective. And effective. I live generously. I live generously. Overflowing with God's love. Overflowing with God's love. In all I do. In all I do. I am filled with the fruit of the Spirit. I am filled with the fruit of the Spirit. I fix my eyes on Jesus. I fix my eyes on Jesus. And live to carry out. And live to carry out. His mission on the earth. His mission on the earth. I am quick to listen. I am quick to listen. Slow to speak. Slow to speak. And slow to become angry. And slow to become angry. I seek God with all of my heart. I seek God with all my heart. And He reveals Himself to me. And He reveals Himself to me. God, I thank you that you reveal yourself to us, that we could know you and love you, that we could live for you, that we could live a life with things yeah. worth rewarding. God, that I thank you that you see the things that don't seem like a big deal, whether it's a cup of cold water or a kind word that's spoken. And God, I pray that our words and our actions would be so full of your grace, love, and power that there would be an abundance of reward for those that are joining us. God, that we could live intentional, so that we could be rewarded for the way that we handle our family, the way that we handle those that we work with. We ask that you would have your way in every part of our life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We hope that this encouraged you. If it did, could you please take a second to hit that like button, subscribe, and share? That really helps us out. We hope to see you again soon. Our challenge to you is to dive into the Word and discover all that it has for yourself. Be blessed. We'll see you again soon.